Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez may tire of life in the House of Representatives and look to move to the United States Senate, it was speculated upon on Monday Sources told Axios that the freshman lawmaker was contemplating her next political move and looking at challenging one of New York Senators either Chuck Schumer or Kirsten Gillibrand in their next primary Schumer, who serves as Democratic leader in the Senate, is next up for re-election in 2022 and Gillibrand, who is running for president, is up in 2024 Axios reporter Mike Allen laid out the talk he's heard from top Democrats on the news outlet's HBO show According to him, New York Democrats see Ocasio-Cortez replacing the Clintons and Obama as the go-to endorsement in the Democratic part, teaming up with Sen. Elizabeth Warren to push a liberal agenda. And, finally, Democrats think he or she will challenge one of the New York Democrats, Allen said. Ocasio-Cortez came into office by challenging a powerful Democrat, House Democratic Caucus Chairman Joe Crowley, a man seen as a possible replacement for Speaker Nancy Pelosi one day Her defeat of him in the June 2018 Democratic primary sent shockwaves through politics and made her a national star Since she exploded onto the political scene, there have been questions about what's next for the 29-year-old Share this article Share she has yet to secure any major legislative accomplishment Her Green New Deal proposal was mocked by critics for its costs and unrealistic expectations the Green New Deal is a statement of goals and doesn't make specific policy proposals, nor does it specify how it would pay for its ambitious plans The plan aims to slow climate change by ending the reliance on fossil fuels within 10 years to upgrade power grids and existing buildings for maximum energy efficiency, to overhaul transportation systems, and to provide every American with a job and health care The conservative American Action Forum estimated the Green New Deal will cost $93 trillion Other organizations have found the deal too vague to get a full cost, although Forbes estimated just six of the goals would roughly cost $2.5 trillion a year. However, all the presidential contenders in the Senate have signed on as co-sponsors of Ocasio-Cortez's signature legislation, SENS. Cory Booker Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar and Gillibrand Ocasio-Cortez's endorsement could be valuable in the 2020 Democratic presidential primary given that liberal voters are expected to play a major role in choosing the candidate to take on President Donald Trump But statewide office could be a bigger hurdle for the freshman lawmaker. Gillibrand won re election with 68% of the vote last year, and Schumer is one of best fundraisers in the Democratic Party. A Siena College poll out Monday found Schumer with a 54% approval rating among New Yorkers and Gillibrand with a 44% approval rating. Ocasio-Cortez's rating came in at 31%, the poll found. And, at 36%, Trump's approval rating is higher in the states than hers The congresswoman's spokesperson downplayed any moves across the Capitol Having worked on her campaign, I don't think we're going to be moving to a different role anytime soon, Corbin Trent told Axio.